let us see a model problem based on the relation between reaction quotient and equilibrium constant okay now the problem is the value of kc for a reaction 2a gives rise to b plus c for a reaction 2a gives rise to b plus c is 2 into 10 power minus 3 here in the problem they have given the value of kc okay kc for this reaction is 2 into 10 power minus 3 okay at given time the composition of reaction mixture is concentration of a is equal to concentration of b is equal to concentration of c is equal to 3 into 10 power minus 4 m 3 into 10 power minus 4 m okay m is moles per liter find the direction of the reaction okay so this is the problem they have given the value of kc and the composition of the reaction mixer at given time at given time being reaction quotient is the significant at given time only okay so now we have to find the value of kc uh, qc okay we have to find the value of qc qc means reaction quotient reaction quotient so let us solve this problem okay first let us write the reaction like this 2a gives rise to b plus c okay here the reaction uh, based on the problem the reaction uh, seems to be in equilibrium but after getting the value of qc we can predict the direction of reaction okay let us write the QC for this reaction. QC is equal to, so as we know that the product of concentration of uh, products means here the products are B and C. B and C are the products. Okay. Let us write the products at first. Concentration of B multiplied by concentration of C divided by concentration of A here being the number of moles of A here is 2 so we have to write as power like this ok this is the reaction quotient for the given reaction ok being a, we know the concentrations in the problem the concentrations at given time are given. Okay. So now let us see what are the concentrations of A, B, C. Okay. Here as the problem concentration of A is equal to concentration of B is equal to concentration of C is equal to how much concentration they have given in the problem? 3 into 10 power minus 4 m ok this is the concentration now let us substitute the concentrations of the species given in the reaction ok let us see uh, the concentration of b and c at first both are 3 into 10 power minus 4 m ok let us substitute this 3 into 10 power minus 4 into 3 into 10 power minus 4 ok observe carefully ok so what is happening here being the concentration of B is 3 into 10 power minus 4 the concentration of C is also 3 into 10 power minus 4 so we have substituted the values instead of concentrations of B and C is it clear now let us go for A here what is concentration of A concentration of A is also 3 into 10 power minus 4 m ok now let us write here 3 into 10 power minus 4 ok so how many moles of A is here as per in the reaction 2 moles being a 2 is exponent here we have to 
right like this okay so being the values are same and the exponents also become same then these are get cancelled okay and finally we can get the value of qc as 1 okay the value of qc for this particular reaction at given time is 1 okay so now let us go, the, go through the relation so according to problem they gave the value of kc is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 3 okay so now as per our solution qc is equal to 1 okay based on the relation we are having in this reaction in this particular uh, reaction uh, the, what uh, let us predict the uh, relation between uh, kc and qc okay qc value is 1 here okay kc is 2 into 10 power minus 3 kc is 2 into 10 power minus 3 okay let us see the value of qc is more than the value of kc okay how do you get that relation the value of kc is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 3 as per the problem uh, the value of kc is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 3 as per our solution we got the value of qc is equal to 1 okay so then uh, when you consider with the relation qc is greater than kc then reaction will proceed in reverse direction the direction is direction of the reaction is reverse direction reverse direction means from right to left direction of reaction is right to left is it clear direction of reaction is from right to left okay so this is the example problem for prove the significance of uh, the relation between equilibrium constant as well as reaction portion let us go through a competitive model problem the problem is what would be the relation between reaction quotient you see and equilibrium constant kc to get the greater yields of ammonia from this reaction is it clear so that is the question the options given are option 1 qc is greater than kc option 2 qc is greater than K, uh, less than kc option 3 qc is equal to kc option 4 none is it clear these are the options given now from these options we have to choose the correct relation to get greater yields of ammonia by doing this reaction is it clear now let us write the reaction n2 plus 3h2 gives rise to 2nh3 this is the reaction given here if you want to get greater yields of ammonia okay ammonia means this one if you want to get greater yields of ammonia what would be happen forward reaction forward reaction should be favored forward reaction should be favored that means the reaction is to be taken place from left to right the reaction should be taken place from left to right okay now let us go through the concept what would be the condition what would be the relation okay now we have three relations according to the concept okay let us see the three relations relation one qc is less than kc okay this favors left to right okay Relation 2, QC is greater than KC. Right to left. Q 
QC is equal to KC. No reaction. Okay. So it is clear if one want to get greater yields of ammonia, the forward reaction should take place uh, and uh, the reaction should be proceed from left to right. Okay. Now let us choose the condition what related to such type of reaction. So here according to that uh, if QC is less than KC then the reaction will proceed left to right to give greater yields of ammonia. Now we have to choose the option where the relation is there. Okay. So here among the given options, option 2 is the correct answer. If QC is less than KC, then only one can get greater yields of ammonia. Is it clear? Thank you.